Hey, what is up everyone? Danny and Alex. Today we're going to look at some close guard submission attacks you can use for NHB, meaning no holes barred. Check it out. Alright, so the first technique we're going to look at is grabbing the wrist control, okay, on either side, right? Sometimes we grab it from the outside and sometimes from the inside. So my goal is to bring the opponent's arm across my body as such. Once I control his arm here, I'm also going to be using my legs to drag his upper body towards me to disturb the balance. So now I have access to my first technique, which is going to be to wrap him here, pull him down, finalize what we call the arm triangle. Once again, so I grab the wrist, the arm, I pull everything in using my legs, and look, my arm goes behind his head. What we call the arm triangle. This next attack we're going to do is a crucifix submission. So basically a neck crank. So watch. As I break the posture in, I'm going to bring my arm over the head. Right? Over the head. And now my arm is going to swim underneath the opposite side arm. Now notice how I keep the pressure onto the head. Always pressing onto his neck like this. Now I'm going to go palm to palm. Crank the submission. All right, so let's look at it from this angle now. I break the posture by pulling him in, one. Now look, I swim my arm around the neck, but also underneath the opposite arm. I'll go palm to palm, breaking the position here by squeezing everything together, keeping pressure onto the head, but also cranking this shoulder, bringing it towards the opposite side. From here, neck crank. All right, so now building on to the previous technique, I'm gonna go for my first attack, which is the neck crank from here. But if my opponent is very resilient, what I'm going to do is release the guard, turn my hips and look, insert one hook inside the lap, turn him over. Once he's over, my palm will go to the mat. One, now from here, sit out, and two. So one more time, my arm is gonna swim underneath. This in itself is very powerful, but you can get somebody who's very resilient with their neck muscles. So now, what I'm going to do is release the guard, turn my hips and look, insert one hook inside the lap, turn him over. Once he's here, your palm goes to the mat and watch. I'll release Alex's neck for the technique, but in reality, you're holding this neck and look, sit out, vroom, into the Keza. All right, next up, this one is kind of funky, but I like to do this one. It's going to be attacking the foot lock, all right? So Alex is going to take a stand, so he's standing up. But instead of resisting the close guard, I'm just going to cup one of his legs and unlock my legs. Now look, hips are going to be controlled using my feet in the open guard position. But I'm going to pummel one inside. This one's going to go behind the leg to disturb this balance. Now from here, look, this leg goes inside, and now I scoop. And from here, switch my grip into what we call a toe hole position. So once more, he stands up from here. Now you can also use the wrist control in case there's, this is a real street fight. This guy's going to be trying to punch you. So as I unlock, I want to control the distance. Now I'm going to catch one of his foot. I'm going to use this foot to bring it behind his leg to disturb the balance. One, that creates more space to bring this leg across and under this foot to flip him over, and now look, switch your grip, catch the top of the foot, and now figure four to attack the toe hole. All right, so there you have it. Some submission techniques you can use from the close guard position, as well as one if your opponent stands up to attack the legs. Hope you enjoyed this content. Leave us a thumbs up, and we will see you in the next video. Take care.